sunshine in Ayrshire as this match just about gets underway. And uh, a thread of continuity for Kilmarnock. Not too often this season as Jim Jeffries had the luxury of being able to pick the same team for two matches running or even wanting to pick the same team for two matches running. Uh, miserable has been their form, finished fourth last season. Still third bottom this time around, although there is the chance, as we've been saying, for them to vastly improve their situation. What a difference three home wins on the bounce would make for Kilmarnock. They've had big worries about their home form this season, and it does get to you after a while. I think, Rob, when you look Kept in by Maybury. Score up, Fowler. And now Lily. Good movement from Invincible. Getting the better of Berra. And away by Andy Webster. Back it comes from Lily. Here's a chance for Skoda. The wrong side of the post. It's the best chance so far. It's a great play from the Frenchman. Great first touch. It's watch when the ball fall, comes out to him here. It's just played back in. This is a great touch from Skoda. Find himself time, space. Only thing it gets wrong, it doesn't get on target. You should try and go across the goalkeeper from that area. If you don't score, someone else might just tap it in. You may get the rebound. The great play. It's his seventh start on loan from Preston, and he can play a bit, and the Kilmarnock fans enjoying watching what he can do. Dundala plays it well beyond Boyd and Invincible. Rangers nil, Celtic into the semi-finals, joining Dunfermline and Inverness there, and either Livingston or Aberdeen. And you'll see highlights later on in this programme of uh, the match at Celtic Park. Mistake by Webster. Murray plays it forward for Boyd. Another chance missed. Probably the best chance of the game for Chris Boyd. Andy Webster makes an absolute mess of the first one. Goes to win the ball, makes a mess of it, Murray. This is a great little pass for Boyd. Does well to hold off Berra. And again, doesn't get it on target. Great opportunity, good play, nice and strong. Ball falls for him, but you've got to hit the target. Well, it could have been two each by now. It remains goalless in the closing minutes of the first half. Stamps pass to Nielsen. Robbie Nielsen's cross for Kevin McKenna and Freddie Dundala had to stretch to his full height to deny the heart striker a goal. That's great defending again from Dundala. That's a decent ball from Robbie Nielsen. Left hand side, right foot. McKenna sneaking in behind the, the Kelly back four again. But Dundala's had to be strong today. He's had to play well first half. A little chat there between the two of them. Robert Sloan with the Hearts corner, palmed away by Meldrum, not con too convincingly. Start to Mabry. Hearts looking to get themselves in front as the first half comes to a close. That's good goalkeeping from Cole Meldrum, he was decisive there. Good decision making from the, the commander goalkeeper, this is a good ball in. Robert Sloan fires this across, that dangerous area again. But Meldrum made his mind up. Danny Invincible for Kilmarnock. Here's Eric Skoda! Straight at Craig Gordon in the end, it was another chance. It's a real chance for Skoda. Great first touch, going beyond Havel. I think it's just a slight deflection that goes through. But eventually right down the throat of Craig Gordon. Andy Kirk, and his cross blocked by Dindal, and that was behind before it was grabbed by Meldrum. Hearts have another corner the net, but uh, on the break, this was a terrific opportunity for Hearts to get in front, and Kevin McKenna ruining the missed opportunity. He had to hit the target, didn't. It's goalless at half-time, and here's Billy Brown. It is going to rule him out, and there's the youngster. 
Graham Smith, who right at the start of the second half is going to replace Meldrum. Smith is third choice behind number one Francois Dubordeau, he's injured already. Now Meldrum has that calf problem we've just told you about, and so it's the third choice. Graham Smith, who will come on in uh, the goal for Kilmarnock. It's a strange one, Rob, the timing of the injury. Obviously, the Jim Jeffries not aware of any problem at half time. But when Colin Meldrum, obviously, when he's, you know, he must have tightened up at half time, and he's run on the field, starting the second half. I don't know if he's sprinted or whatever he's done, but he certainly pulled that calf muscle. And right away, in, uh, in, intimated to, to Jim Jeffries, his game is over. So, Smith from Meldrum in goal for Kilmarnock, his first top team appearance for the rugby park team. David Lilly's free kick. Danny Invincible. Gets past Robbie Nielsen. Pulls a very inviting cutback into the path of Stevie Murray, who couldn't quite make it there. That was clever play from Invincible. Great play from Invincible. Stevie Murray will be frustrated. Invincible gets a break here, doesn't win the header. Picks up the, the second ball. Takes on Robbie Nielsen. Lifts his head. Great ball across the box. And young Stevie Murray just doesn't attack it. He's too late coming in. Chris Boyd flicking it over his head. Nobody clears. Robert Sloan makes a meal of getting it away. That's Webster. Gary Hay to Stevie Murray. Hay looks to get the ball in the box. Away by Nielsen, only as far as Gary Lock. And that was not far away from breaking the deadlock. I think Jim Jeffries is looking for a corner kick. This is a good effort from Gary Lock. Good ball in from Gary Hay. Robin Nielsen with the header and Gary Lock on to make a shot. I think the goalkeeper, Craig Gordon, just got a touch to the end there. Unlucky not to get the corner kick, but that was half a chance again. I don't, even though it was heading wide anyway from Lock's shot. What's the news of Colin Meldrum, check? Well, as you might imagine, he's a very dejected figure in the dressing room. It, it didn't. There was nothing at half-time at all to indicate a problem. And just as uh, the game started, the second half, he felt his calf muscle tightening up, felt he couldn't go on, had to admit the problem. Back from Invincible, chipped in by Fowler. Played away by Webster. Danny Invincible with the shot, it's on target. But it lacked the pace, which would have made it trouble, Craig Gordon. It's a real chance for Danny Invincible. Kelly have started the second half really well. This is the second half chance of the second half. And really time to keep his eye on the ball. This doesn't get enough power on it. The goalkeeper's got to save it. But it's an easy one eventually for the keeper. A very impressive first five minutes of the second half from the home team. And while Billy Brown was the first to acknowledge that uh, Hearts possibly had the edge in the first half, it's Kilmarnock who have uh, come out of the traps after the interval. And Danny Invincible is prominent in their endeavours. And it's Skoda's free kick. And away by Nielsen. And Chris Boyd's shot blocked. Deflected behind, it's a corner. He's a lucky Chris Boyd, this is on target. I don't think Craig Gordon would have got to this one. It's going right across him. The opposite says great pace in the ball. Another chance for Kilmarnock. It was Kevin McKenna, I think, who blocked that from Boyd. Plenty of pressure for Kilmarnock at the start of the second half. Can they make it count? Not this time. It was a spectacular stop there by Craig Gordon, but the whistle had already gone. And Jim Jeffries frustrated. Frustrated to say the least. I think this ball crosses the line. For the referee, Mike McCurry, blowing the whistle nice and early. It would have been a goal if it hadn't been for the early infringement. The Jim Jeffries, I'm sure, saying to himself, now we're really on top of this game, we're well in control, we're creating chances, but they have to score. If you don't score when you're on top, it'll be difficult to win the match. Jim Jeffries saying to his players, there's been all sorts of talk about relegation earlier in the season with Kilmarnock at the wrong end of the table, but a few wins get you up the table and suddenly you're talking top six. Gary Hay lofts it forward, Andy Webster won the header. Oh, 
Hamill to Sloan. Robbie Nielsen. Andy Kirk. And Kilmonic might have another problem with Barry McLaughlin this time. Phil Stamp fires it in. Good handling from Graham Smith. That will do him some good. He replaced Colin Meldrum. And Kilmonic might be about to have to replace Barry McLaughlin as well. The goalkeeper does well, but this is a poor ball from Phil Stamp. It's too close to the keeper, right down his throat. Making it easy for him. Didn't have to make a decision to keep it to come off his line. What's the news about McLaughlin, Jack? Yeah, it's a little problem. He's on the ball now. It's a problem with a hamstring injury, actually. He came across a few moments ago to clear a pass back. I give a pass back to, to Smith. And he just pulled his hamstring. He, he grasped at it with his, and his right leg as he kicked it with his left. And he's just been told to the bench. He's, the, Jim Jeffries asked him about it. He said, give it five minutes. We'll see how he bears up, see if he pulls out of it. So we'll just watch him closely over the next few minutes. But it's definitely a hamstring problem. That was a foul Sloan on Scora. McLaughlin and Dindula up for the free kick, in from Eric Scudder! What an opportunity for Danny Invincible to get Kilmarnock in front, should have scored. It should have been a goal, great delivery from Scorer. tremendous pace in the ball, makes it easy for the striker, just make sure you make contact, and Danny Invincible, if you can put that into a corner, there's no way Craig Gordon would have got there because of the pace on the, the delivery. From point blank range, Danny Invincible, who scored his first Kilmarnock goals last weekend should have added another. Is that's it for me? And Hearts might cash in. Here's Andy Kirk. Graham Smith in the way. And th that was uh, very much the message to Jim Jeffries. You better make that change, or you could get caught out. That's why you can't take a risk. Andy Kirk, his first touch is pure here. He takes it far too wide, just on his knee there. If he can get across the. The front of McLaughlin, that would have been a chance through, and the goalkeeper of eventually has to try and pull it back. Sloan's corner. Missed by everyone. Phil Stamp fires it in! Hearts have scored, it's Andy Webster! It's 1 0. 14 minutes into the second half, Webster's first SPL goal of the season. You've got to say it's against the run of play, but this is a good ball in from Phil Stamp. And that's Andy Webster, just sticks a, a foot out, there's enough pace in the ball from Stamp. It just changes direction of the cross, of the ball across goal, and it's right between the goalkeeper and the defender on the post. A little break to say the least, but when you put the ball into that area and you attack it, you go for it. Sometimes you get the breaks. Slightly delayed reaction from Craig Levine, but he made up for it once he realised it was in. Webster for Hearts, second goal of the season, one in the UEFA Cup, and the opening goal in this SM. Late pressure from Kilmarnock to try to at least square the game. And Danny Invincible will reflect on a sitter missed early in the second half. A header from point-blank range in front of goal, which went straight at Craig Gordon, and almost immediately, Hearts were ahead through Webster. So that first 15 minutes of the second half, that was the important part of the game for me. Kamara totally in charge, creating chance after chance. Danny Invincible having the best of those chances, but they just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net, and they look as if they're going to pay the price for it. Scorer fires in the free kick. Headed away by that man, Webster. Closely watched by Janacek at the expense of a corner. Kilmarnock need a goal. Money's corner. There is the goal from Danny Invincible. It's 1 1. With three and a half minutes left. His first two Kilmarnock goals last weekend. And his third one might just have saved the day here. You've got to say, come on, I deserve this. They've worked so hard. The great little flick on and Danny Invincible standing on his own. No one marking him. I think Neil McFarlane, Kevin McKenna, one of those two. They'll get the blame, they go to sleep. But Invincible eventually is on his own just to knock it into the net. Can't miss from there. It was Kevin McKenna, it was Neil McFarlane. One of those two, I'm sure, but should have been picking up Invincible. They both go to sleep. And come on, I've got the equaliser.
1-1 at Rugby Park. With a couple of minutes to go. Hearts were all wrapped up in marking Colin Nish and Freddie Dindala at the near post, and that allowed all the room that Danny Invincible needed. And he was unmarked as he headed home the equaliser, and Craig Levine will be far from happy about that. As a coach, Rob, the one thing he keeps saying, it's not the first header, it's the second one, the second ball inside the box. If you switch off, if you go to sleep, and the ball's flicked on, it can cost you, and that's what happened there to Hearts. It was almost there for Hearts. And now it looks as if they're going to have to settle for a point. Still not a bad result for a depleted team at Rugby Park, but uh, Hearts will feel they might well have got a second goal and made things safe and defended a little bit better as well from that set piece. Is there yet another twist in this tale, I wonder? A long throw for McKenna, Greer heads it away, Janacek knocks it down. Here's McKenna. Alan Mabry on the overlap, Colin Nish went back with him. Well, it took Danny Invincible 14 Kilmarnock appearances to get a goal. Now he's got three in two games. And Mabry's throw. Kilmarnock free kick. And we're in the 90th minute at Rugby Park. It's 1 1. And come on, smile. <laughs> <laughs> it looked as if Kilmarnock were heading for defeat. But now their much more impressive home form looks like continuing. I'll be fairly happy, Jim Jeffries, today. No, but the disappointment part will be the fact that his team couldn't take the lead when they, they were dominating the game. The good spirit to fight back and keep working away to get that equalising goal. Oh, <laughs> that's a dive, surely. Took the throw from the wrong place, Robbie Nielsen. Although I think uh, his face was red at the time and he was just keen to get rid of it. 90 minutes played at Rugby Park, three to go. Kilmarnock won, Hearts won. Invincible's equaliser after a Webster's opener. Plenty of time for a winner. Invincible kept out by Berra. In goes Hay. Janicek. His pass charged down. And, uh, That's a free kick. Lunge at Nielsen from Murray. Mabry's free kick aimed at McKenna, cleared by Fowler. Invincible against Nielsen, Danny Invincible gets the edge over the Hearts defender. The final chance, now Mabry doing the defending and keeping out Invincible, who having squared the game, I think fancied winning it. Great play for Invincible, had no right to win that 50-50 with Nielsen. The driving forward eventually wins a corner kick. The equaliser came from a corner kick, but this time...